What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're drawing Sully from Monsters Inc. Let's begin today's lesson at the top of our page and draw two circles for the eyes. Let's start with the one on the left. Starting from the very top, and all the way down towards the bottom, and then back up towards the top. And then leave a small gap in between the eyes and draw the same size circle on the right. So let's line up the top of that circle, come all the way down towards the same height, and then back up towards the top. Now I want to add a small highlight circle on the top left side of each eye. So up against the edge of the eye, I'm going to draw a small circle going all the way around, and I'll line that up on the right. Let's draw a smaller circle in the center of the eye for the pupil, but we're going to go in behind that highlight. So we'll start from the bottom, come all the way around, and just tuck that in, and then do the same thing on the right. And it'll fill the center of the pupils in black. Now we're going to place the brow on top of the eyes. Let's start from the outside. We're going to curve this up and then in. So line this up on the right, going out and then down. Now from the inside, we're just going to curl this back. Up. Let's move down and place the nose in between the eyes. We're going to start over on the left, curl this up, and then back down. And we'll close off the end with a curve. Let's add two small half circles on either side for the nostrils, and we'll fill the nostrils in black. Now let's move down and draw the mouth. We're going to start underneath the left eye, curl this down, and then up towards the right, and we'll add a bracket on the corners of the mouth. Let's move back to the center, step down and add a small curve for the lower lip. Let's go back up to the top and draw the top edge of the brow. We're going to start right in the middle with a point. From here, we're going to bend this up and out towards the left and right side. Let's add a point. Just pulling that down and in. Let's go all the way around the side and then down. And we'll bend that back in. Let's add one more curve going out toward the edge of the brow. And we'll bend that down and then in. Let's work our way down the side of the head. Starting back over on the left. Bend this out, and then down towards the jaw. Do the same thing on the right, coming down towards the same height. And to close off the chin with a curve. Just going to round out the jaw, come across the middle, and then up towards the right. Now we're going to go back up to the top and add in the horns. Let's start from the top left, cut this out, and then bend that back in. And we'll line that up on the right side. From the tip of the horn, I'm just going to tape this all the way around and back in on top of the brow. Now you want to add some texture inside the horn. So I'm going to start from the bottom, bend this around, and then in towards the top. Step up. And I just want to repeat this all the way up toward the tip of the horn. And I'll do the same thing on the right. Now let's move down and draw on the side of the body. Let's start over on the left side, just underneath the head. Curl the body coming down and then out. Go to the right and do the same thing. Now I just want to round up the hips and just pull that back in. Now in between the hips, we're going to add a curve. Going up and then down. Let's leave a small gap in the center. Go to the left side, bend the leg going out and down toward the left heel. Move over towards the right, go out and down towards the right heel. Let's round out the bottom of the feet going out towards the first claw. We come down and then bend that up. And now from here we're just going to curl around the claw. We go up, bring that down towards the tip, pull that back up and in towards the bottom of the foot.
Now I'm going to layer two more claws in behind. Starting from the top, go up and down, and just tuck that in towards the side. And we'll do that one more time. Now let's go back up to the side of the hips and draw the outside of the leg. Start from the left side, then it's out, down, and then in. And then from the top of the last claw, curl the foot going up and in towards the side of the leg. Now I'm going to go back and add a large patch in the center of the body. Let's start on the left side underneath the head, come all the way around towards the bottom, round this out, go up and in on the right side. Let's add a couple spots along the outside, starting on the left, draw a half circle, same thing on the right, Let's draw a smaller one along the side of the hips, and I'll add one small one across the heels. Now we're going to go up to the top and draw the inside edge of the arms. From the top of the body, let's step down, bend the arm going out, and then down towards the wrist, go over towards the right, and do the same thing. Now from the wrist, draw a small half circle for the thumb, and we'll close off the end with a bracket. Now we're going to add three fingers on either side. Let's start from the bottom of the thumb, come down, and just bend this up around that bracket. Step down, go out, and then up with the second finger. Let's do the same thing on the right. Now the third finger, we're gonna start out here, curl this around, go up, and just bend that in towards the base of the shoulders. Now I wanna round out the shoulders, adding some fur along the side. Let's start on the left side, go up and in to right about there. Let's add a point of fur, point out and then down. Pull that back up and in underneath the head. Let's add some spots across the arms. We're going to start underneath the jaw, start with a circle, go all the way around, just tucking that in. Let's add one on the base of the shoulder, coming in and then out. Let's add one on the inside of the arms. And draw a full circle just above the wrist. And we'll add one smaller one along the side of the arm. Let's go back up to the top and add a fold underneath the eyes. Starting on the left side, bend this down and out. And now we're going to come back down and add the tail coming out from the left side. Let's start from the side of the leg, bend this down and out. And I'm just going to pull that back in behind the foot. And let's add a spot along the top. And they'll finish off by signing our art and adding a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. There's Sully from Monsters Inc. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. And if you did, please give this video a like and share it with all your friends. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.